February 19, 2021 it is today. The video I will talk about right now, the information I will talk about right now, even Israel knew. Even Israel knew about this. It wasn't only mental hospital or Ljubljana Polje. Um, everybody that was involved in this MK Ultra case, all the sites, all the sites from the US, of course, Croatia, because this is from Croatia, what I'm about to talk to you about right now. Naturally, Serbia, Serbia was the one doing this kind of stuff. Everybody knew about what you are going to hear right now. Everybody. Don't even mention Russia or Germany or anybody else for that matter. And now you will understand what actually mental hospital Ljubljana Polje, Slovenian police have done to me. And we're going to talk about my father. And his friend Drago Pokorni, who, upon realizing what he did, just like everybody else involved in the story, was I quote him nothing if you if you're not gonna say that I was trying to help you out, you're not gonna try to make me look good and this and that. But this is Every dot in Poland, wherever I had lodged, whatever the stuff was done to me, it was exactly the same quote. Everything was the same, the same thing everywhere, the same. So, in 1995, when I was brought from the US by the US government, Europe, among others, also to Slovenia, it was my father and his friend, Pokorni. This is a professor of English language, Drago Pokorni is his name. He is also an individual who teach me English language, help me out with valuable, very, very valuable uh, lessons of English language. took me to the city in Croatia, in a region it's called Slavonia, part of the Croatia. City by the name Daruvar. And this stuff repeated in 95, 96, 97, 98. Certainly, I'm not sure before 99 whether it stopped in 99 or not. Uh, but definitely, in, when it comes to 1999, it, what I'm about to talk to you right now, it no longer was this kind of stuff that went on. Uh, they would go for a fishing, take the fishing poles with them. Uh, my father actually spent some time down there because he was in the school in Belgrade, in Serbia, for uh, fishing harvestry. Uh, specialized in fishing harvestry, they also have some... In Croatia, they also had some man-made uh, ponds, lakes, and stuff like this. And natural lakes. Croatia, this is just really, really beautiful place. Beautiful country. Adriatic, probably the most beautiful shoreline, I'm certain, in Adriatic coastline that's in Croatia but well, this is in Slavonia this is not too far from Hungary and not too far from Serbia and not too far from Bosnia we I and my father when I was rocked up it was very difficult to even, you know, pay attention to all this stuff, really. 
waited this man, therefore Professor Drago Pokorny, right outside of the factory, outside of the Kirka factory. Drago Pokorny actually was updating me also on uh, what went on inside of the Kirka Pharmaceutical, what the changes they implement, added new structures or replaced structures and so on. Such was the issue with this uh, entrance to the factory, the main entrance I'm talking about, from up front. Two. All that stuff I remember because of him. Definitely I do. Now, that was, as I explained, time when I suppose it was in US, in 95. Me, it's 2006, <laughs> never in Europe, ever. Talking about 11 and a half years in the US and go only. Never ever entering Europe. But I did. We waited him outside of this Kirka Pharmaceutical Company right here in Novo Mesto. That's where this is filmed from. And then Drago occasionally also would take us to his place he wanted his wife to recognize this to acknowledge that um, due to humanitarian reasons father and I after the work would travel with him to Darvar Humanitarian reasons in 95 started with uh, Kapetan Dragon, that's when I was brought to Belgrade. Uh, this individual Chetnik, Serbian Chetnik, who also has Australian citizenship and was just looking for opportunity of any kind that would give him, according to his own words, uh, re-establish himself within this uh, Chetnik movement in Serbia. He was not happy about Australia even a little bit uh, because of the war. He was eager uh, to go to Serbia and among the top things, top priorities to him was to get involved people, like top people, top American business people, crown from London and so on and so forth so he could use that as a leverage in war against Croatia, against Bosnia, against Kosovo, against everybody basically with whomever Serbia was in war, Serbia was with war, war with everybody this was one nation who was in war with every nation from Yugoslavia yeah, this was one nation that was in war with every nation in Yugoslavia. Funny enough, if you think about it, it's not even so funny. They kept the name Yugoslavia for themselves. They were in war with Bosnia, with the Croatia, with the Slovenia, with Kosovo, Montenegro separated, Macedonia ran away. Yet these people still kept the name Yugoslavia and so on. This is very, very, I know, contradictory, but that's just the way it was. Now, in Darovar, there are two cities. One is Bielovar, the other one is Darovar. And because Pokorny, none of this stuff would I know ever from what I had with him when he was privately tutoring me um, in high school. None of this stuff would I ever know about any of this. If it wasn't for afterwards that we met again. In aftermath, basically, when brought from US as an adult man, you know, as a 24 year old man. His origins are from Bielova or at least he had tremendously a lot of friends over there. Uh, now, the idea, as he explained, 
Yeah, it's also what he was explained. He was explained by others. Why Pokorni? Because Pokorni spoke English. Like I said, this is a professor. I think quite extraordinary man. Um, who got to deal with international clientele coming to pharmaceutical company Kirka. Very, very reputable. Um, stuff I'm about to talk to you right now is, is just going to cause outrage in some people. Maybe even in him, I don't know. I don't really care for that matter. I'm going to tell you, I don't give a shit. I'm going to say, I'm going to repeat his words to me. Uh, you, you will learn about that. I really don't give a shit if he is upset, if he's not upset. means to me shit. But in 90, 95, might have been actually 96, I'm not sure. He told upon the first arrival of the of Darovar to the people of Darovar who were asking him about, well, who is this guy? What are you what are you up to? What's going on here? This this guy drugged up um, pretty much when you're drugged up under MK Ultra, you're pretty much as I was explained, in sort of same mind as if you would be drunk. But I never drink any alcohol. I never consent on my own any kind of drugs. Funny. So many tests in the US done. On drug test, I pass every fucking test. For the jobs, probably I had to undergo in the United States of America more than a hundred drug tests. I have no fucking idea how many drug tests the US government subjected me to. Probably with idea that they're gonna prove something. Get some kind of some excuse or something. This was like a big fucking deal for them. They also offered me drugs all the time, but I was interested in one thing and it's basically becoming a police officer. And when Mike Tyson mentioned me about his cannabis farm, which is completely legitimate, legal, under MK Ultra, when he mentioned me about that, I was like completely in shock because of the hardship already I endured and because of what went on that something like this would be for me was this was like no way. He's gonna get a few hundred thousand euros, I understand. And it would be good to get him a local girl. So some money can come here to this region and so on and so forth. Well, the next thing that happened was the locals start to get to know me and I was very, very unhappy about this whole thing. Um, they were curious about me or whatever. I wasn't curious about anything. I didn't want to be on a picture in the first place. Worse, my father became a total... I'm not going to say that he became a sex addict because I don't know what his life was before that. I know that his friend Chortalic, who married Serbian, would frequently go to bordels, to, to the whorehouses. This was a complete, his, complete normal. This was like almost every fishing trip that we would make. Um, we would make to catch fish for him carrying along his fishing poles and stuff like this, but he wasn't present. This was since my grammar school, I guess. So, since 
always was like this. He was always doing this kind of stuff. Chances that my father would not get the opportunity next to the guy like this um, are also, I would say, none. I wouldn't say slender, none, I would say. Because both were extremely disrespectful. And toward my mom, disrespectful toward me, uh, the physical was completely normal. But because of the stuff like this, it's kind of normal in the element you live in, basically. So what I'm trying to say, you accept and you go along and you think, you don't see it. You don't see this as a wrong. Actually, I saw this as a very, very wrong. Don't get me wrong, but I learned to tolerate violence against me. I learned to tolerate stuff that otherwise child shouldn't. Child should report parents, father like this to the police and get him in the right place on time. I didn't. Now in 95 and 96, if not in 95, 100% in 96, this uh, In 95, Drago Pokorny was the man for receiving the foreign people because of his English skills. So, straight to his hands, basically. Kirka from Masuriko. I actually found myself after blah, blah, blah with his locals, this and that, nonsense wasting time, inside of the bordel, you know, inside of the whore house, if you like with the prostitutes now this is not a video that i would use anything against prostitutes or something like this no way no way absolutely not absolutely not i am for the women's rights as it gets And I realized that this, this fishing trips, this kind of stuff, because, you know, they would unload me and then it would disappear. And it became pretty damn clear, obvious that in direction they would disappear would be the opposite side of when, if you were go to, towards Slovenia. Now those are a little settlement three houses and inside of this houses it was ladies sex orgy orgies actually I want to say that it came to my mind that one of the girls, I think, was actually quite beautiful to me, too. I was like, wow, you know, I was like, hello, uh, this is, this is nice. This is beautiful woman, um, you know, I wanted to know her. I wanted to meet her. It was just hello, bye bye. That was it. Now this girl started to get interested in me, too. Uh, I wouldn't get a chance to interact with them any i uh, didn't get any chance to interact with me or whatever it was just hello and bye bye that means that i wouldn't stay in there it would be like whether if it would come and it would be hello bye bye and i would go to the city afterwards what would it repeat or upon departure from darwar when they would come to pick up the father basically pick up the father when they would deliver me back to my father and to my uh, professor Pokorny if you like a little did I know and because this was in Croatia you know I was quite I said to myself well, comfortable with this uh, 
in reality, I said to myself, if they're doing this kind of stuff, um, if the father is doing this kind of stuff, at least, um, you know, he is satisfied, happy, whatever. You know, this is really not between me. Uh, I said to myself, I shouldn't even think I'm here, that, 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 whatever. But let them do whatever the hell they want, whatever. Um, now, at the same time, I hate it as much as one possibly could hate because you know, MK Ultra, you know, this is well, it grew into abuse, it grew into life threats, death threats, uh, all kinds of stupid shit from people that had too much time on hand, people that did not know what to do with their time. Uh, and they started to kill time with, uh, it became like a torture, basically became like a, like a sport. This was not in Croatia only, this was, this was also in Poland and in Czech Republic, but especially in Slovenia and Serbia, this I'm not going to go into because this was extreme, this was completely insane. Uh, Russia to Belarus to uh, little I knew that this whole thing was video recorded at first in 95 in 96 in 97 98 up to 99 this whole thing was only audio video recorded and it was supplied to Belgrade from where this ladies were supplied to Croatia. The Croatian woman didn't want to do this. So what this guys found was the ladies that were willing to do it. I don't even know if those are Croatian people who did this stuff. I don't think so. Not even pimps. I think this was all completely Serbian operation. Because Drago Pokornik, he was very much Yugoslavia, 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 you know. He's a Czech minority in Croatia. Uh, his cousin or brother, I don't know, Misha Pokorny, that's a doctor pharmaceutical who used to live in the US. A very distinguished pharmacist, chemist, um, incredibly brilliant individual. One of the first to also employed with this pharmaceutical company in Kirka. Uh, married also Serbian. Um, and these are just a really, really beautiful couples. These are just, I'm going to say, beautiful people all around. This is nothing that I would have anything. If I would have problem with something like this, it would be definitely something wrong with me. Because you're talking about highly educated people, um, intellectuals, uh, just completely open-minded for good things that everybody should be. But I'm afraid this is not the way it works. You know, this is just not the way it works. Politicians have completely different ideas about this whole thing. They want their show to go on. They are not really interested in, you know, what you have to say and what your views are. If you want something, you have to subject yourself to their demands, to their the way they see this. Otherwise, you don't even participate in the stuff like this. And so for him, because he had uh, friends on both sides, for him this became difficult, especially because this was the environment he was from, right? So before you know, Drago Pokorni, Professor Drago Pokorni, lost totally control over the situation. Now the professor became a hostage. Not only myself, but all of a sudden, he was out of control. He brought me in there with idea to help me out. Yeah, sure. But before you know, he no longer had any kind of control over um, the situation. He alone became like um, a hostage, you know? 
don't even fucking think about saying no to these people. I mean, are you crazy? Uh, he knew, along with the father, they saw it. What the fuck went on? That this started to get physical beatings, death threats, all kinds of stuff like that in the auto war. Um, yet, they had some refugees coming from Bosnia, something like this, and I think that was also Serbs. This, this is who, basically. This is how all this stuff. The local became locals became scared, terrorized, and it's completely different people that took over. And at the same time, my case, which it doesn't doesn't matter if my case was not, if I wouldn't find myself in Belgrade or in in Bosnia in a Serbian portion of Bosnia, that didn't really matter. <laughs> what that matter? That didn't matter. It didn't matter because now in Croatia, and I think this was the idea, the idea was present Croatia is a bad country or something like that. He had no control other than to bring me. My father almost on the knees begging him. Completely sex addicted. Um, as Vucic explained later, my father... Uh, upon watching the tapes, the sex tapes of my father, they realized in Belgrade that he have a taste for uh, a Serbian woman, uh, darker, that this is what appealed to him really. So they got more of those and stuff like that. Sometimes in 99 when we moved toward instead, because we were thrown out, I will get to that, from Darovar. We moved closer to Serbia through Slavonia again, Watchers would already have the internet, and now they were able to watch this sexual stuff in real time. It was completely from videotapes shifting into internet. I don't know what kind, whether it was it satellite or landline or whatever it was. I have no idea, but what I do have idea is what the buildings looked like. I definitely would recognize people and stuff like that. Now, that is the stuff I do have idea about. Why in Croatia? Serbian bordels? Because the Chetnik government in Serbia wanted to learn as much as possible about the local business people, about the local, uh, you know, entrepreneurs, self-employed people. People who have money, and it's obviously the people who goes inside of places like this to waste one with ladies and so on. So, another thing was that this was a Chetnik government in Serbia, still is. The idea was to also intercept, this was why, why closer to Serbia, to intercept business people from Belgrade, so therefore Serbian people. To learn as much as possible about them, who, how, what, how they see, how they think. So this was a whole brainwash, a whole reprogramming that paid off Serbia tremendously. Because another one who got himself in the net were American business people. Donald Trump became addict too. And that's what brought him to Serbia, from Croatia to Serbia. It wasn't even the Serbia originally, but because of the women. The Serbian government quickly learned that it really, really pays off to have these burdels, these prostitution houses with the ladies. Uh, is they have literally, literally lured them inside and then got all kinds of stuff like you would not even believe that what kind of stuff you would be like completely shocked so let me demonstrate uh, what area exactly uh, I am talking about to you uh, the red dot on the map you see that is the city of Darovar Darovar. This is how this thing is written. Darovar, Croatia. It's in Croatia. Yeah. So.
So if you would take a ride from Nova Mesa, that's here. And uh, you go to Zagreb and you would end up right here. This is the city right here. You know, the other city. Yeah. Uh, Bordelos. If you want uh, you know, like prostitutes of which all were the Serbian prostitutes. There were no Croatian. Croatian local girls would not want to do this kind of stuff. I don't know about who the owner of this place was. Uh, this must have been located down here somewhere in that area like this. The city obviously expanded. Uh, but it would go toward this direction. And I did not even check the area yet so that I could demonstrate you literally the housing when that it had actually took place. I yet have to go and see that. We'll explain to you in continuation why. But it would be this direction, right? So not toward Zagreb, towards Slovenia, but in this direction here, down here, like this, in this direction, down here. Uh, the Serbian operation this actually actually might have started in 96 not in 95 in 95 is when Pokorny was so pleased so happy that he got this uh, business little a little side job you know with Americans that he was taking care a lot of stuff he presented factory and all kinds of stuff like that to Americans. Um, 96 most likely is when this stuff started because he told me one time when we came it's gonna expand we're gonna start also with something else and this and that and that's when we started to drive down to Darwa to this place here. Later on, once busted, and in, in a little bit I'm going to get to that, uh, the same kind of stuff, the prostitution with my father too, would move toward this direction here. Eventually, my father, they got him already to Belgrade. And he was literally used to convince my mom that it's okay, that I don't have to worry about, uh, that she doesn't have to worry about me, and eventually he was literally used by the Serbian government, by the Chetnik Serbian government, as uh, some form of transporter, some sort of volunteer for me, that everything eventually would be okay with me. Sometimes in 98, sometimes in 98, and it was already in 97 and 98, my father witnessed repeatedly, okay, this is where big resentment comes from my side, he was resented also from other people, Polish side knew about all this, they were disgusted. Many of which learn about this stuff have actually signed them away. Uh, they stated me eventually that if I am, as a matter of fact, when I will talk about this stuff, he will disappear. He will die. He will vanish away. Um, family from my niece, her husband niece, uh, came up with a really, really idiotic stuff with the stupid stuff such as that it was this only happening in Croatia not in Bosnia on the Serbian side uh, not Belgrade not this not that uh, in Belgrade 
and I want you to see me in a bad grade things have gone out of control with my father to the degree which eventually was completely laughable to the degree that Vucic would state me that I have at least one brother Serbian yeah, meaning that my father would with 100% certainty because he mentioned Vucic, Alexander Vucic he contemplated eventually on two women that he with a certainty 100% that he impregnated but he said one you have for sure because I made sure about that and eventually started under MK Ultra to traumatize he did not really traumatize me today you will see um, suggest me that in, sometimes in the future that my brother might actually come from Serbia to Slovenia to claim the property here uh, I don't think this is the stuff that husband from my niece or my niece or my sister or my mom knew about but I think this actually is true I think this is a very very inconvenient truth that might actually sparkle surface sometimes in the future we might have to deal even with this kind of situation um, look my father angered me and disgusted community I, I mentioned anywhere from Israelis to Pollocks to pretty much everybody with fact that he would accept the Slovenian psychiatry and Slovenian the police that they were not they they were hiding this they <laughs> we're gonna get to that he would stand up next to me watching me being beaten up abused death threatened during this Serbian Chetnik operation in Croatia which idea was to portray Croatia as the country that engaged in violence against me that was the primary goal of this thing and did not disturb him it would not disturb him he witnessed this accounts of this terror of these beatings of the death threats and it might have actually stimulated him in his sexual activities meaning that if I a little further translate this kind of stuff that he didn't give a three fuck about not me not about my mom they could and they did they did for my cousin son right now is in Austria just as he stated he would be because well my cousin from Maribor is half Montenegrin and his grandfather was a big general in a Yugoslav army something I was actually really proud of something I um, I can't even tell how many times I thought about it something uh, I pride with my cousin who unfortunately was one of the people who got poisoned with what I already have explained were pills that they would give you to drink to eat whatever it was the next thing you would have uh, you would develop cancer on your comb on your uh, intestine die of cancer with a hundred percent certainty when you got once you got that cancer and this shit was so bad that if I repeat the words of the Vladimir Putin uh, alone sometimes in 2000 and it was about probably 
like 2003 or something, they would just hand out pills, such pills to the people out here in Novo Mesto, who would afterwards uh, do all kinds of stuff because they didn't want to be guilty anymore. Sometimes in 2003, 2004, they would release these pills and they had already other substances. Um, the other day I actually met a gentleman uh, whose dog, very near here, eventually young German Shepherd even died of uh, cancer, of this type of poisoning. This is the way it was, excuse me, a fucking madness here in Novo Mesto. Uh, if I repeat the words of a prominent Slovenian politician, they no longer would even exit their houses, their homes. It, it wasn't anymore that they would go out and meet people and stuff like this, eat in the public and stuff. They would just stay home. This is how bad the situation got because it was also other side, the Slovenian side, that learned about what goes on. And now the pills started to circulate from both sides. And so unfortunately, really, really unfortunately, my cousin, half Montenegrin, son of this Montenegrin uh, man who came to Slovenia, married my aunt, sister of my father, moved to Maribor, uh, died like this, got poisoned, and died like this. Very, very uh, unfortunately, or unfortunately not, uh, his son, and it could be because of his mom, that's wife of Slovenian, wife of this cousin of mine who moved, whose family moved to Maribor. Um, she blamed me for it, that I was guilty and this and that. And that was a result of extreme violence that he displayed toward me during MK Ultra. This man no longer was my cousin. He would come here and guarantee me that I am dead. He was a Serb, a Montenegrin first, and never cousin again, just an individual, all of a sudden foreigner. This is what Vucic's politic did, who would life threaten me. Um, me having absolutely nothing to do with it other than what he did to himself, as he was observed by police, by God knows how many people. Um, got poisoned somewhere in Maribor. This is completely on the other side of the Slovenia. Me not being anywhere around, anywhere, not even in the country, whatever. He got poisoned. Uh, the next thing I see during MK Ultra was Eventually, his wife, that would come in my face, uh, completely desperate, angry, mad, pointing finger at me. And the next thing you see, she disappeared. She went to Egypt. Then the next thing that I saw was his son, whom, by the way, I wish I would know. I wish I would meet. I wish I would have another cousin, another friend, somebody. Coming inside of the house uh, with nothing. This is the guy that is right now hiding over there in Austria. Nothing but death threats. It would be just a death threat upon death threat upon death threat. And it wasn't the first time in front of my father. That's why I stayed this. This was like an example amusing. That my father would just watch. And... Uh, it didn't matter, just just watch inside of the house, inside of the room, inside of the kitchen, that you would have this somebody actually coming inside of the house and just that threaten, that threaten, that threaten, a total, if you ask me, psychopath. 
nothing but basically death threatening me. Basically, my cousin you know, from that side. He was not the only one uh, who was poisoned. It was cousin, another cousin in Bela Kraina that was uh, that suffered most severe consequences of cancer and so on. My family got big one, but he just happened to be on that politically, if you like, correct side, uh, and. Uh, the civil war produced the other side also that started to take revenge because it was so many Slovenian people murdered anywhere from media people, uh, poets, singers, uh, people on TV, public personalities. You, know, you, you have no idea. It was a massacre massacre about which nobody dared to publicly talk about everything under the table everything covert nobody dared to talk about my father in this house when it comes to the death threats that he witnessed in this house inside of this house beginning in 95 96 and in serbia alone he wasn't moved even a little bit with anything they had to say, anything they had to do. Now, that what pissed me off was really badly that in this place where I would not want to go, but he was completely insane, crazy to go and do his stuff uh, and was doing this kind of filthy stuff uh, it appeared to me that he actually, that I wasn't worth it to him anything. And it appeared to me that in this place where I was brought in 96, not it was not in 95, it must have been in 96. Maybe even in 95, but I think, I think actually 96. When it all started in, in Darovar, in Croatia. It, it appeared to me that if they would have killed me there, if they would have done whatever the hell they would want to do, nobody would even know anything about what happened to me. It actually appeared to me that I wasn't worth anything, and on top of that, that he had. Yeah. The guy is weak. The guy is mentally and physically weakling in every sense compared to me and that he was hooking around with a young woman with another dude, old dude and I was there like 25 years old male and that they were doing this kind of stuff and expecting for me to actually go and take the ring and put the ring on one of those girls uh, or local or whatever it's like to me that made me feel like these people consider me like mentally retarded like like you know you're mentally retarded and we are doing you a favor like you're so fucking mentally retarded that you're gonna marry somebody like drugged up we're gonna find you a wife I did not suffer in my life any kind of uh, mental indeficiencies and this this kind of derogatory this kind of um, humiliating nature of this case uh, left in me this was already 96 and you know especially when you consider that by some people you're considered like uh, very intelligent they promise you not few hundred thousand they promise you I don't know how much money uh, if you would manage to prove this kind of case and so on and so forth and yeah, listen I'm not I'm not I'm not hitting right now at Pokorny or something like this I believe that he did have good intentions. I don't think that he had intention to to screw me up, but he did lost the control over the case. This turned so political that he, I think, became, he became like, because he was from this environment, it became for him like, either you're gonna do it, or, you know, you're gonna face maybe the same or even worse destiny than what he does. 
So he, he, he became, in my opinion, this is what it was he, with his case, he alone became like uh, some sort of hostage. This is the way it worked. This is the way it operated. I'm just trying to explain to you from A to Z for you to understand exactly what I have gone through and what kind of feelings I have toward my father who basically, since I was a child, he would abuse me, beat me up on a daily basis, sometimes to the degree to the point that he no longer could even hit me because he wasted energy hitting me, basically, with a belt or something like that running after me and so on pointing at times even gun at me and so on and this is what it turned for me life when i was 23 24 25 this is what u.s government did when they brought me back to slovenia to slovenia and it must have been 96 because the two my father and professor pokorny had a good idea about how they have to help me and they were already Profiling certain structures, uh, construction in Darovar, and so on, so that I would remember in, in that kind of case. So it must have been in that way. Um, what exactly I felt then, therefore, in '98, when I realized with with an absolute certainty that the man standing next to me, watching what they're doing to me, and actually even pleasuring himself with that kind of stuff, actually even seen himself as somebody who would you know feel like look at me I am fucking young woman and you are a nobody and a nothing like this is actually impossible for me to describe to you um, I would not want to reveal my feelings to you about how I felt what I would want to do with him for the first time in my life, right there and right there. Um, I no longer could take it, but they would keep bringing me back. So that must have been already 97 that I realized, 98, and then sometimes, really, luckily for me, 99. Uh, they would have me back and forth again through this Darovar, through the side streets. It was always in the side streets, you know. Um, they would bring me back. In the evenings, they would bring me back. And it was inside. We were inside. And again, listen, I'm nothing against the girls. These girls were really beautiful girls. Uh, if you ask me if it was a different situation, if it wasn't political stuff, because I see this stuff very different now than what I did before, you know. I'm a very open-minded person. I'm not even a person that would have uh, some kind of prejudice, walls against uh, particular classes within the society and so on. This is not me. This is simply not me. I'm open-minded person that who knows God knows what how things would turn if this would not be the way um, the thing is that that evening when they brought me back in there and I was chatting with the girls you know this this girls are really teasing me beautiful girls um, uh, a man walked inside and he just, you know, quietly he would go to Mr. Drago Pokorny to professor of English language, like I stated, talked to him, said to him something quietly, came to me and said, it's over, it's finished, it's finished. Uh, then he would go out. And uh, Pokorny would tell him was not in a good mood. Was not in a good mood. Uh, that also what is also what I resent him is that his inability to control the situation in which 
he got himself into that's in his best possible scenario and I believe this that, that he was not the one who would who would be part of this Chetnik operation I don't think he knew what went on really when he got himself into this stuff yeah you know, he would gesture me that actually scold me rebuke me you know it's not pleasant when somebody that threatens you uh, you know when they're doing physical abuse on you and he rebukes you and stuff like this that you're not behaving properly and stuff like this you you would also do something to him <laughs> when, when you think about stuff like that that makes you kind of hot uh, but overall when you when you realize when you think about this and this was not my father this is not my father he did got himself into idea that he's gonna help me out with this he was crazy enough to literally take me in this blue lagoon inside of his apartment and so on he was crazy enough at the beginning he did he was crazy enough to do this he was sure that something good is gonna come out of this stuff very positive that something is gonna come out um, was very unhappy that he had to convey this and he said this I already knew that's gonna happen and he told dad that uh, now is we have to go he did not explain anything what goes on but he told me this is it now you see this is what you're guilty you did this you did this so again I was guilty all right so we sat inside of the car that evening and it was not even the evening I'm gonna tell you that um it was before evening i know so because let me demonstrate to you we would be driving again towards novo mesto no? that's that means from this area here somewhere this was about uh, i don't even know i have to see this area i gotta see where this was was it I don't know but I know it was from this side and we would go back and still inside of the dot of our area it could be maybe here I don't know I know that it would be already like a grass it would be grass this beautiful flatland you know something like this you know something like this something like this um, it would be a police park and eventually we would have to uh, park vehicle on the side of the road and um, they told us to step out of the car all of us to step out of the car and, uh, and so i said what it is it's a police and i said to myself thanks god <laughs> oh boy how much i was happy of this police croatian police i don't think I can even explain to you um, I was I was just uh, relieved I was happy so that I would never ever see that word again plain and simple uh, my feelings for this city which is actually a really really beautiful city with a lot of beautiful people was at that point um, I felt very angry at my father I was like I didn't say anything but inside of me um, I, I was I was cooking myself you know anyhow um, this is how it ended in Darovar but it didn't end it from there uh, the shit moved through Slavonia through this entire region let me demonstrate to you this is all Slavonia here okay oh this is Slavonia this is a beautiful Slavonia Ravnica like they say flat here um, it would move also if this here this is Croatia here it moved over this area and I don't even know was it Vinkovci was it uh, Jakovo I don't know but I luckily remember what the house looked like like bordel uh, like this uh, house this whole house what that looked like and sometimes in 99 I was updated 
by, Vuk uh, by Vucic, Alexander Vucic alone, let me demonstrate to you. This is Alexander Vucic. This is the Serbian president. Oh, this is the man who decided that he can do better than myself. And he will actually handle me. Um, this is a Chetnik. I'm sure you know uh, who this person is. A fascist. Uh, whatever you want to call this. Whatever it is that you want to call this. Uh, Democrats, US Democrats at that time were actually even excited about these people because they didn't know really what went on. Uh, he used me along other people. He had his people that would take me to Croatia and literally insult Croatian people. Um, upset me, insult me, bully me, bring me to Croatia, get somebody involved in it, or maybe even have local people in there. And through them involve me against the third person and stuff like this. This is basically what went on. Now, the best example maybe is this individual here who also claimed that I would never ever make it because he's going to make sure that I will never ever ever make it. His name is Alfi Nipic. Never ever that I would make it, that he's so popular, that he made such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful songs, you know, such a beautiful songs for um, Slovenian, in Slovenian language. He's a number one man in Slovenia when it comes to Slovenian national music and stuff like this and he's he's he sings about how beautiful Slovenia is and this and that well this man would take me to Croatia he was specialized in taking me all over Croatia with him and have me insult Croatian people because idea was to well somehow assemble again what used to be Yugoslavia you know um, I just happened to saw him today but he mentioned along his property he, he mentioned today, he failed to mention his property in Belgrade. He has also a property on the side in Belgrade. Serbian government awarded him that. Uh, very, very critical, very, very sharp, he says. He stated today on TV since 2019, I don't go to Croatia anymore because they started with the politic. Well, it wasn't only him, it was not only him, uh, there was another female that would use me, very, very prominent, and uh, now I understand that I might have been actually very wrong about it, who would take me also to the Adriatic Sea with her, she was Serbian. But she was good enough to explain to me for her own safety, meaning that if you had me with you if you would go to vacation meaning that if you would get yourself in some kind of trouble they would let you go they would just release you because this case around me that all this piled up was so huge such was the case with the uh, Karadzic in Austria and in Italy where they got him and they let him go that at no cost they would even arrest you you would not even go under any kind of police scrutiny under any kind of investigation this is how big this shit was this is why this is how I don't know if I missed anything I would want to say to you today in this video. Um, this is probably quite revealing. This whorehouse, uh, this operations, this Chetnik operations, this subversion. This was a operation also, if you want to call this subversion, you know, 
in Croatia. They, 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 they waged the, the psychological warfare literally in Croatia. In Slovenia, I already have explained about what went on. They, they tried to turn our countries into, into really a totally negative, totally um, against whatever we have accomplished, you know, against the freedom we have accomplished, against the stuff they have going on today down in Serbia, if you look what goes on. There's nothing else really than crime. Um, in 99, like I stated, no longer even video recordings. Uh, the whole thing went into, I don't know, was it a satellite? Was it a landline? Was it like a DSL? Whatever. I don't think, I'm not sure. Internet. They, they had to this uh, whorehouses, these bordels, uh, so that, that they could actually study people, know exactly about what went on, and get like total, total, total feedback about the stuff. Quite incredible, very, very uh, sophisticated stuff, warfare that they waged, psychological warfare, they waged, I'm going to say, on all stages you possibly can imagine. So, me saying this stuff, the only thing I'm going to say for the closing of this video is that Mrs. Yerich, she did not know anything about this stuff back then, but she knew. She eventually find out. Sometimes, I think it was like in 2001 or something like this, she said to me, and it might have been later, she wouldn't want to say nothing and remind me of, you know, who this person was. Um, She did spoke with me. She said that, that kind of stuff you know you're not you're never gonna say. You know they were very protective toward my parents. Um, Mrs. Yerich, Andrea Yerich is very exclusive for me. This is a very very exclusive lady. Uh, in my case, she actually was a hero. This was the most maybe dedicated person to the rescue. And she deserves completely video uh, separately from all these issues I don't want to go into. I just used her example knowing that, listen, the psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana who knew all about this stuff would not know any of this stuff if it wasn't for the police which handled all the stuff, all the stuff. I was quite amused when in 2011 accusation against me came. It, it, it felt like as if my father, that's already proof enough that cameras are here. That's already proof enough that this is being surveillance, my room, completely. As I indicated, the case war would be. How the hell they knew as my father explained stuff, I was talking to myself in English because at that point in time, upon return from the U.S., I was working inside this room. I would not even oust a single word in, nothing would come out of my mouth in Slovenian language. I mean, how the fuck my father doesn't even speak two words of English? That's something I was totally, 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 totally shocked about. It was the Slovenian police is really, really busy surveillancing, you know, and doing their shit, basically. Considering that my father did what he did uh, from the childhood, and then during MK Ultra, and then eventually even got me inside of the psychiatric hospital. I was eventually rated as a paranoid schizophrenic, so he would have a full authority and give one of abuse to others under that mental illness authority. This is incomprehensible what this man did to my life. Um, maybe it's why they have suspected that and gestured me upon this video that he's not going to be around for too long.
but um, I don't really understand what how otherwise this would be without me explaining exactly what went on against me in a society like this I don't know what kind of society is this Slovenia is excuse me I was born here but that you would eventually have people like this looking at your face eventually bargaining uh, for you not to tell with all kinds of anti ultra gimmicks and stuff like this so you would not tell about what went on yeah, this tells a lot about what this country alone is. This country is the country for which I fought in 95, in 96 verbally with Western European leaders, Americans. I lobbied for the country to get inside of the European Union just so in the end I would be pronounced as a totally mentally insane crazy man and you would have individual who wanted the Serbian tanks in 91 to burn this country to the ground having him sit inside of the presidential palace in Ljubljana father also did recognize that he was in Darovar also with Drago I don't know whether he said this I do have this recording look it does not mean to me shit in the Arvor, I was told, I think by the mayor too, uh, that it will all depend how I am going to present this case and this and that. Uh, but this, this I got used to it. I always got used to this kind of stuff. Pharmaceutical company Kirka was involved in this stuff. According to these people from pharmaceutical company Kirka, they have some kind of investments, I don't know, some kind of a term, a pools, whatever it is, whatever it might be, they invested vast amounts of money in the city of Darwar. Uh, basically, if you want, if you like, purchased silence from Darwar. Uh, whichever way politically that would be more convenient for whatever option is out there controlling this Slovenian uh, space I imagine this is how it goes so and also not to fail to mention this is very difficult video uh, it's just so many issues sorry Pokorni is from the Czech Republic origins is a minority in Croatia Czech Republic was also involved in this stuff. Czech Republic, interesting how they handle, how the Moscow Belgrade handled these things. They didn't handle these things through, you know, through the minority here in Croatia. They handled this issue through the politicians in Czech Republic. They crushed them somehow and then they would have their say uh, to their minority in Croatia. So they have like, it appeared to me like a complete, complete control over the situation. But the Czech Republic also is totally, totally acquainted uh, with this situation in Darwa. This is yet another one maybe interesting. Uh, Mr. Pokorny stated that he's a Czech, he's a minority, and as such have to be in a good relation and with the Croat, Croats and with the Serbs, that they are not allowed to take any sides, that this was actually the instruction, this and that. Then sometimes, I don't know, in late stages, like maybe 2012, something like that, 15 repeated me that he suffered financial losses in Darovar, that there is problems and uh, all this stuff that is my fault and so on and so forth that kind of stuff um, something I am not gonna say I don't give a shit this I don't give a shit this I literally learned from him he was like this he was completely uh, in my opinion very very reasonable 
view the life world, you know. Uh, it didn't matter to him what kind of assignment he gave me to learn or whatever it was. He just expected, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I don't want any kind of excuse. I don't give a shit. Um, good, because he helped me out tremendously a lot. Maybe I was a little bit humorous about that kind of stuff. Uh, the thing about it is that Bielovar is in Croatia. Uh, this is not in Serbia. So from my view, from my point of view, uh, the, the way I see it, this is Slovenian. Um, the Croatian state here, in this case, uh, from my point of view, will have advantage here uh, over any other issues, absolutely. I'm going to put it this way. And now, really, that's all I want to say for this video. Cut. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.